boy. Hello. We are, welcome, Patreon members. Thank you. This is the inner circle, dude. Oh, man. These guys are dude, my confidants. We just, the free apps, I just, I'm not even there. I'm I don't, slogging through it. I'm like, here's just put something out for yeah, the Yeah, here's crap. You this guys, is the, yeah. There are consiglia. You are our consiglia. This is the exoteric level, yes, dude. Yes, no, yes, the yes. esoteric, excuse me. Exoteric Both. is that other shit. I'm just trying to throw smoke screen. Up We're smoke screen, dude. Yeah, totally terical. Yes. Dude. What the hell's up, man? Guard dog. What the hell? I mean, we can't start over. The intro was too good. Yeah, the intro is fantastic. Everything's good, sound wise. Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Matt. Shane. We had a get. We had it was all business. We had Francis. We come had on. Frank on. Beast. Frankie Ellis. Beast. What a fucking G. Dude, he's great. I hope the listeners respect and fear him like they should. Yeah. Because he is, of the people we know, I think the biggest psycho. He's got blood. He's got the blood of kings and noblemen in he, his veins. He is dude. a complete nobleman. Dude, total nobleman. I th- every once in a while, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of kingly. And then you're around him, and you're like, that's a king. Yeah, dude. That's actually a nobleman. Yeah, you. That's you, an elite. You're, you're more of like a... Uh, more of a warlord. Yeah, I was about to say yes. I was about more to say, like a yes. chieftain warlord type. Thank you. Someone but who's just like, I got 5,000 bushels of grain. If you know, the enemy like does seven. set up boxes, I'm, I'm done. No, nah, dude, you'll I go. I won't be. Well, <laughs> maybe next week I'll be able to cross the boxes. Jump? They're going to be jumping on him soon. Well, that's what I thought. When he brought it out, I was like, fuck, fuck. dude, I got to do fucking box jumps. Dude. And then he was like, just step up. I was like, okay. <laughs> it was so hard. <laughs> oh, no. That's good. It's good you're doing it. You had to do a lot of reps. Obviously, at first, I was like, come on, man, this is nothing. Dude, you don't want your body to fail. Everything's it's all fun and games. I, I watched a dude, like, over time, the course of, like, two years lose his leg it was all fun and games fucking he, he was like beers all day long him and his wife literally all day long yeah yeah chain smoking and they were like you're gonna lose your leg and then like we went over like, there yeah, right i'm never gonna lose my it legs. was very like hey you fucking is doctors. this a story about yourself dude come on man <laughs> no i don't i don't i don't crush beers all day who's this guy it was a dude some other guy some other guy dude. definitely not some me. other guy and dude the doctors were telling him kids were begging him we went over there, and they were like, oh, by the way, they, they took his leg. And we had to go there for this. It's a sad day, dude. When they chop your leg off? Yeah, man. It's crutching that around. That fucking stinks. You got some stapled fucking denims, yeah, dude, dude. Don't they go gotta, to They the had doctors. to staple your dungarees. Oh, no. they don't, for some reason, they close the hole. I, that's what I noticed. When you lose a leg, they're like, well, let's sew up these dungarees. I, going, going. going to the doctor and them being like, we have some bad news. We have to cut your leg off. Yeah, dude. That's a bad day. Yeah. Like, what's the prognosis? They're like, beer. Yeah, too many beers. Remember, like, for five years or, like, stop, and you were like, yeah, yeah, pussy. How old was this guy? He was, he was some of the geese. He was, like, up in his 50s. I said, well, 50s is young. 60, 50, it was like If you're late in the game and someone's like, you better chill, I'd be like, no. Yeah. I will not chill. It's a tough call, man, but it's also like, do you want to lose the leg? I'd say you're going to have to kill me now. True. You're going to take away my brewskis in my 70s, 60s? Yeah. No. This is how I live. Hopefully, I'm telling you, by then they have to have something you can take. Well, they'll be like, the dude, brewskis? chill the brewskis, pop one of these. It's the same exact yeah. thing. You they'll could just like, do molly and just lose your mind. Dude, I talk about it all the time. We're going to have the best old age. I genuinely believe that. So far, of, of everybody, yes, we probably should have the best That's old what I'm age. Saying. Unless everything does collapse, which... You know, sometimes I get scared a gay America is going to collapse. Yeah. If we if we got old in like a third world country now, that would that would be a bummer. That would stink. I don't think that's going to what would happen is we would get a hard enough shock that everyone would knock off the bullshit and then we'd become a superpower. Again, or or we would just like we'd etch out a nice life. For Although ourselves. being an abuelo down in Mexico right now would be kind of tight. They kind of treat every we do treat our old people obviously like shit. Yeah, that's what the whole point of money. We so lock them up. Shed your whole older family. But it's it might be family. nice to live in a small town where, like, you have kids that take care of you when you're geezed. Yeah, that was the agrarian then, setup. Yeah, you need course. an extended family to run a fucking farm. Or we could go full Eskimo. Just put you on a fucking ice shed. Be like, bro, good run. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <We're out>. she... <laughs> off a cliff, too, though. Yeah. That was the, that's the other thing, dude. Off, like, a hunter-gatherer thing. Someone's not pulling their weight. You'd be able to fucking... <laughs> you'd be able to murder way easier. Yeah, you'd get away with it. Murder rate spikes, dude, when the fucking law enforcement crumbles and the infrastructure crumbles. I don't think we'll get that bad. I think no, we'll, I we'll get, like, a... 
people will be like kind of cold. People will get like, oh fuck, like my heat's off for like a year. People will get a little chilly. And people will be like, all right, let me knock off the foolishness. Knock off. Yeah, let's stop talking about yeah. my sexuality constantly. Because uh, well, like third world country, you get third world countries who like. Idea. There's no way out of it because they don't know how to do it. Like they don't know anything else. We yeah. know, we know the deal. So if we get, you know, if we get knocked off of a high horse, we'll be able, we'll have the stuff to be like, all right, this is what we're gonna build. Strong communities, skyscrapers, skyscrapers, more skyscrapers. I'd love more skyscrapers. I'd like Harrisburg to get a nice scrapey. Yeah, man. Big boy. Yeah. Right now build. we don't have any big boys. That should be your goal. To build a skyscraper, to build in, a skyscraper in Mechanicsburg. Sit on top. Something dude. in Mechanicsburg yes. needs to surpass the Purina dog food factory. <laughs> it it towers over our do beautiful a, village. Do a nice like 17 story scraper. Dude, the dude. Purina dog factory. The dog food factory? That's it. Towers. What about the nuclear plant? That's is that that's pretty a, that's that's oh, in that's, Middletown. Okay, okay. Mechanicsburg, tallest building, Purina dog food factory. Really? Yes. How many stories? You know, roundabout. It's fucking huge, dude. What do they have? Like towers for the food? Yeah, I don't know what. It's like a grain silo type uh, thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's dude, big. Dead, it's you not... see its lights at night, dude. It's ominous. Uh, it's probably it's like the a... eye of Sauron, dude. You can see it. That's up what there. I was thinking. They just like pouring shit. It down literally there? looks for kids who are failing out of Votech, and it's like <laughs> 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 you're like you're going to the dog food factory, dude. You're shoveling biscuits in the oven, oh. which is a tough way to go. Shoveling biscuits all day. Yeah. I told you my cousin worked at the dog food factory and he smelled like dog food. <laughs> and also like <laughs> in the summer in Mechanicsburg or whenever, whenever the factory's up and kicking, the entire town smells like dog food. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's vomit worthy. No, it's the best. Dude, I got hit with the, I might be just sensitive right now to nauseating things. So my whole house got a stomach bug. And I told myself, I was telling Brittany, I was like, I'm not participating. I'm not getting this thing. Yeah. Like, I just, I'm not doing it again. I'm not getting, I hate throwing up too. Everyone everyone hates throwing up. It's like, I won't throw up. Yeah. I'll be like choking throw up back. I like a good drunk throw up though. I do really. That's what I told Brittany. It does help. I told Brittany, I was like, if I feel like I'm getting this, I'm going to like pound like three bottles of wine and try to black out. So I don't remember. True. I hate throwing up. But dude, that was my, that was my thing. So. It's actually not a bad plan. Yeah, if you feel it coming on. But there's, man, that hangover Haas, with the bug the next day. <laughs> Haas told me there's a type of poisoning that the only, well, one of the things that helps it is to start to pound vodka as fast as you can. Because the way I th- it might be like cyanide, I don't know, you know, what it's something, some kind of poisoning. But what happens is, is the thing starts to shut down one of your organs. But when you get hammered, your body, all the blood rushes to, your, to fight your liver. And then it has enough time to like process this other shit out of your oh, system. Oh wow! So there's a type of poison. I wonder that's it. how they couldn't get Rasputin, dude. Possibly. Yeah, he yeah. allegedly would poison himself a little bit every day. Dude, isn't that tight? Yeah, it's awesome. Just getting used to it. What's up? What you got? Your uh, Yurish. <laughs> Can you take a shot at reading that? Sure thing, dude. Yurishal. That's the poisoning. Yeah, that's what it says in there. It says a, a a little bit of rubbing alcohol or grain alcohol could help. I don't combat. even see it. It's probably one of those young phone screens, small font. Oh, there it is. Okay, exposure to, yeah, your your sh- your sh- your sh- yeah, orushiul, your shiul. The best treatment of for exposure to orushibu. <laughs> is rubbing alcohol in a pinch vodka or gin works get hammered but dude. only if you rub on not drink it oh so okay. you found that you found something different this is i believe for poison Forgive oak me. and i oh, okay treatment. yeah they used to tell us I'm to put gasoline because yeah it wasn't they used to tell us to put gasoline on ourselves for poison ivy. poison ivy you hit it with some gasoline they said it would kill it right off oh i gotta add that to joy to the world that used to be one of my jams. Which one? Poison Ivy. Dude, that playlist. Late at night when you're sleeping, Poison Ivy comes a creeping around. That playlist is fire, dude. Oh, fuck, how'd it go? It's like, you better have an ocean dan, 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 of calamine lotion. I've never dan, heard that dan, song. Dan, dan, dan. You guys don't know the Poison Ivy classic? Never heard of the Poison Ivy. <laughs> never heard of that in my life. But that sounds like a heater, dude. It is a heater. I got to toss that on there. Just Joy jamming. to the World has been received fairly well. Yeah, dude. It's bangers, man. Yeah, I mean, it's Up mostly, it's basically like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Remember the Titans soundtrack. And then I just <laughs> went from there. <laughs> People need it, dude. They need that type of music. 
Also, you're uplifting. putting your stamp on it too. Yeah. Oh, my stamp. You hit in people there. with the wall of sound, dude. Yes. You're Spectre. A lot of people were trying to get, you know, anytime people give me guff, I toss those headphones in and just joy to the world. Fuck. That fucking rules. You know, I love the ladies. <laughs> but, <laughs> dude. I mean, try to have a bad time when that's playing. It's impossible. It's that and Uga impossible. Chaka. Uga, Uga Chaka. Uga. Yeah, that's, that's, I can't uh, stop this that's Guardians of the Galaxy. Is it really? Yeah. I, to be fair, we loved it before that. Of course. And, and, and honestly, dude, I used to work out to the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. That's a good time. It's a great time. It is like, you know, because we, uh, I could see people being like, well, there's a Marvel soundtrack. It's full of fucking It's hits, a great dude. soundtrack. I used to do cardio specifically. I would run and put on Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was pumped, dude. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the elite soundtracks. Forrest Gump, Remember the Titans. Dude, I'm telling Those you. Those are the soundtracks. Dead President soundtrack. I got I to gotta get onto it. I'm, <laughs> I, I Forgive me for not watching it and having not seen it. It's fine. It's not. Like, I was young when it came out, and I remember all the bad kids liked it. Yeah, and they bad. went for it as Halloween. They went with the white face and the snow hat. Spooky. I was startled. It's spooky, dude. I saw them around my neighborhood. I said, "Who the fuck are these guys?" That's very spooky. And they were they were in my they were riding bikes in my neighborhood. That's said, very I, public school behavior, dude. They were the pubs, of course, dude. I mean, the spot cats them from a mile away. We don't play that stuff. We play sports. Yeah, and man. Discipline and prayer. I remember public school kids showed up to our St. Thomas dance, dude. And it was they were like, "There's fucking public school kids outside there." We gotta fight the public school kids. Dude, we were tensing up. With the power of prayer. <laughs> <laughs> well, public dude, school kids did not know the power of prayer. If they went to CCD, they knew a little bit. A lot of them did go like to CCD. Us. I was a young man that went to CCD, you're, and I would rearrange people's bro, desks. I would me too. With the desks. You're about to get me you fired did, up. Did you fuck with the desks? Yep. It's pretty fun. Opening the pencil box. Sometimes there were snacks in there. Sometimes bro, you'd find a snack. I had Chewing gum. the craziest <laughs> set. Dude, I had my tech decks ready. My desk my was a garage. Of tech yeah, those decks, are my dude. tech decks, dude. dude. Sorry, bro. That's such a. That's just life in the pub system. That's such a bummer, dude. Yeah, yeah. we're in the system. Dude, I had we got to get it. Flavor where we blasted consider. goldfish a carton, ready side laying down like this so I could just squeeze it and dispense flavor blasts <laughs> right to me. Then I had my tech decks. I had like a two tech deck garage. Damn, dude. can you imagine getting the CCD? That's the that's yeah, the that's gold mine. X marks if you spot. sit down I mean, and somebody's desk is that stock, true, like, yeah, you know, true. But it's I looking back on it, it's like the kid probably need, his parents are probably fighting all the time. <laughs> it's probably true, public school. <laughs> his parents are definitely happens. going through a divorce. Yeah, when you go to public school, it just means your parents. That are means fighting, your parents dude. don't have the power of prayer. <laughs> yeah, so they fight. So they have to argue with each other instead of being like, yeah. let's go listen to the fucking homily. They don't have God to be there. Be like the husband's in charge. Shut dude, up. How sick is the homily? It's dude, I'm telling. I caught a nice, I like genuinely caught a nice one at a my brother's wedding. It's nice to hear a good homily. Whew, man, I need it, dude. I need, need it. I need hum. the Lord back in my life. I need, I need to consult with a priest. I think regularly. I think, I think you can just walk in and be like, "Help!" Yeah, you can. And they're like, "What? What the hell?" And you're like, "I need answers." Yeah, I'm hurting. I'll give I, you guys twenty bucks a week. Come on. I did. I did uh, <laughs> a fucking confession in college. <laughs> You did confession. I was in going to church in college for like a month. That's what's up. Yeah, Sean. I think this is Uber Eats. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to ditty Whoa. you. Dude. I'm not trying to ditty you. But this is Uber Eats, and I, I can't stop. This is a ground. I was telling shirt. you about my faith in I college. Saw, I know. That's why I, I, I found my faith for about a month. What happened? I turned my back on the church after about a month. What? Yeah, it lost its luster. I didn't think because when I was going, I was like, I'm cool as fuck for doing this. And then after a month, that wears off. And you like, were though, dude. That was cool as fuck. College church. There's always churches at college you can go to. Mm-hmm. I lo- whenever you're about I to tell to something you re- regret revealing about yourself, your kernel, the corner of your eyes curl. You go, <laughs> you wince. <laughs> it's so funny. I knew something was coming. You went. Oh, I thought about <laughs> it. As soon as I started to tell it, I was like, I don't know if I want to admit to this. No, but that's great. Then, then they, the reason I stopped going was the guy tried to get me to like come to an event. And I was yeah, like, I'm man. not hanging out with the church kids. I'm just yeah. going to go listen to the homily, dude. It's annoying they do that. Yeah. Because that's a whole other trap, dude. And it's just... like 6 or six p.m. on Sunday. That's for good. The, for the collegios. Yeah, dude. And it's I went good in math. and I sat in the back like a good alumnos. <sighs> that rules. It, it does suck that the Christian kids are so weird. Yeah. It wasn't. It was Catholic. Uh, but yeah, but it's Catholic. still. It's you, get, you get like a college age. Like we had them in our high school and they like. I don't know why they got to be so weird, dude. You can just silently work the path, dude. You can munch that during this podcast. 
Uh, I really, I think it's fine, dude. The the Patriots, the Patreons. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna munch. Those Patreones would understand. No, I'm not gonna munch on them, dude. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I was famished, so I'm gonna. Thank as you soon for getting get that, done. Sean. That was very. Thoughtful. I know, Sean. I was not trying to ditty you, but Shane was opening up about his my, faith. I was opening up about my faith. Don't worry about it at all. I'd like to get back in there, dude. I'm, I used to laugh and at right my dad. Right here would be sick. There's a church right by our house, bro. I could go on Sunday. It's good. It's good for you. I'm sure. I used to laugh at my dad, and he's like, "Wait, do you have some fucking shit growing on your head?" You'll want to go to church too. And I was like, huh. now I'm like, yeah, it's fair enough. Yeah, true. Get like one of those fucking doctors like, it's not looking good, man. Yeah, you got You're go. like, but all I know is eating soft press. 